Oh, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean on a Saturday morning recording straight from my phone. That's what I do on these Saturdays. And I got two big things that I want to talk about. Number one is something that is killing a lot of artists out here that you guys are it's just going over your head. You don't realize it's killing you. And number two, I'm excited to show you guys the new intro for the channel, the new outro for the channel. I did a beat contest for you guys who don't know. They were producers. They sent me beats and, you know, we pick one and we came up with a new intro for the channel showing you that at the end. But before I get to both of those things, <clears throat> whoo, boy, I don't know what that was. Um, Corey dropped a video yesterday, right? And it was about the dark side of going viral and how going viral, like just not having your team together and all these things. But I want to stop and ask you guys one question. What would you do if you went viral tomorrow? If you woke up tomorrow and you had 5 million views on one of your songs, like you had a video out, what would you do? Stop and think about it for a second. That part is some of the point of what Corey was talking about. I've done a video on this before, but I know I have a lot of new people on, on the channel these days. Think about the fact that going viral is like hitting the lotto for a rapper, right? Or an artist in general. But the difference between going viral and winning the lottery is there's a ticking time bomb the moment you go viral. So, you know, getting the, winning the lottery, you can be like, all right, I'm just going to sit on the money, spend it real slow, uh, wait till I can figure out what I'm going to do with it. No, when you go viral as a rapper, as an artist in general, you have to figure out how to flip this as quickly as possible. And not only are you going to have like people wondering and judging your brand off of whatever went viral and that might not be your brand, you're going to have a lot of people who see opportunity in you, a lot of people that you don't even like know coming at you or nothing's going to happen at all because you don't know how to get out there and do it. So just think about that. Just think about it for yourself. What would happen if you went viral? And that'll probably change the perspective of a lot of you guys who are wishing that you went viral immediately because you have no idea what you would do. And that time bomb will be ticking. Next thing you know, it's just another song that passed. I've known quite a few people um, who, that's who that's happened to, actually. Um, but won't we'll get into that. Now, the first thing that I said I wanted to talk about that's killing a lot of rappers, actually, is wanting to be liked. Wanting to be liked. And this is what I mean. This isn't like some little feel good thing. Think about memes these days. Everybody is saying becoming a meme. When you think about the process of becoming a meme, a lot of times it's to strike a nerve. None of them are to be like. If you think about Takashi, if you think about Blueface, Blueface is um, he it's like people are making fun of him, right? Not taking him seriously. If you think about Lil Pump, a lot of people were laughing at him at first. It's, it, it's entertaining. There's this process of, yeah, you get some fans, you get it, but it's more so for attention and it might not be something that's completely positive. And that's the difference. Like these days, before you want everybody to like you, you're trying to make as many people as possible rock with you, avoid bad press or avoid bad feelings all you can. But today, a lot of times, the primary way a lot of people are standing out are doing things that might cause people to dislike them at first, but you have to be able to, you know, get through that fire and wait it out. Be patient, be strong until you get to the other side. I'll do more on that in a video um, on Blueface I got coming up. That'll probably be either tomorrow or next Wednesday. I haven't decided. I did the video. I just got to figure out when I want to drop it. You know, you know, just just waiting things out. But the next thing. Keep this in mind as well. Oh, two days left until you can get the free access to the bonus live uh, branding sessions as well. By the way, that'll be on the 14th. Today is the 12th. So if you're watching this video, I don't know when you're going to watch this video. It might be too late by the time you see it. But two days left to get free access to that. I'll put the link in the description below. If you want free access to those live branding sessions, you know you got to get the pro music branding guide. Um, those will be some rather intimate sessions and I would do as many as possible. Not even a lot of people on each one because I want to have like some intimate sessions with people to talk about branding, let other people see other people's brands. That should be super dope. First time we're going to do those. Um, but everybody will get like literal specific attention from me on their brand. Anyway. Oh, the beat. See, I just start rambling sometimes the beats. It, I'm about to do a clip because I'm recording this to my phone. I, I got to edit the uh, new intro in. But get ready to see the new intro right 
now. Ooh, run that back, run that back. So yeah, that's the intro. Shout out to Beats by Malix for that intro. And now we're about to play the outro. Shout out to Adonis Calo for the outro. I appreciate both of y'all at Beats by Malix and at Adonis Calso. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. As you see the outro, you know, just chill on the way out, you know what I'm saying? A good little vibe. And then, but the intro, it comes in with a force letting you know that the channel is here. That, that's kind of the energies I wanted to go for. Thank you again for everybody who submitted their beats on Instagram, all that good stuff. To producers, once again, you have to think about this like a placement. Because your stuff didn't get chosen, it does not mean it wasn't a dope beat or it wasn't good at all. You know, of course, some people's beats might not have been great, but we have to think about a placement in general. Remember, there might be a love scene and your music might not make sense for a love scene, but you submitted it. So some other beats that got submitted just didn't make sense to be an intro, not for what we were going for energy wise. And some things didn't make sense for being an outro. Right. So keep that stuff in mind. Um, but there were a lot of dope beats. I tried to, you know, thumbs up or like a lot of the things that I was hearing that were good and solid. Appreciate y'all once again. Have a great weekend. Be cool. Oh, yeah, hold up, hold up. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well. Share. If you like this video, you might as well hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.